everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Dea also welcome if this is your first time so happy that you're here today so for today's video I'm going to be bringing you along for a week in my life different moments throughout my week actually so this video is going to be a bunch of different cozy activities and self-care activities too that I did throughout the week because sometimes it's really hard to have a full-on self-care day especially if you have a busy schedule busy work schedule busy life schedule and so this past week was definitely one of those weeks for me so I compiled a bunch of little clips from my favorite moments and I thought I would share with you all and also it just serves as a reminder that it's okay if you can't have a full-on self-care day or take a full day sometimes to do things do I think it's important yes and sometimes I have days like those but in reality we might not always be able to do that and so being able to just schedule in a couple minutes you know of self-care or doing specifically recreational self-care a lot of the activities that I'm going to share are things that I just did for fun that bring me joy so definitely grab your favorite cozy beverage or snack I currently have a cup of passion fruit tea we'll definitely keep chatting more throughout this video i end up going book shopping to the bookstore sometimes honestly it's just nice to be there even if i don't buy anything i don't always have to buy books sometimes it's just nice to despejar la mente you know give your mind a break i'm gonna go ahead and play some good music for you all let's go ahead and get started with this video I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna Try forever and I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause I've always been told that things will unfold If you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better
something that was also really fun and therapeutic for me throughout the week was spending some time doing some spring activities like planting some more plants in my butterfly garden and in my backyard and so I didn't go all out but I bought a couple of new flowers and plants and then I went ahead and added them into my garden journal that I ended up making in a previous video and shared with you all. I continued to keep that updated and it's just something that's definitely just for me. I try not to care about how it looks aesthetically and just keep it because it brings me joy to keep track of the things that I plant in my own garden. I wonder where you go When we're in the same space You're more like a ghost In between a place And a feeling The sun kissed your face You turned the other cheek Till the clouds filled our sky Am I the reason why You're always so quiet Also, 
I personally love going to the movie theater. I always have. Ever since I was little, my parents used to always take me and it's something that I've enjoyed so much. And so me and my sister ended up going to watch the movie Susume and it was so good. So, so good. If you're looking for something cozy and magical to watch, I highly recommend it. We ended up watching the dubbed version because I just needed a little bit of a mental break. And sometimes I'm into, you know, watching things, reading the subtitles, and sometimes I just need a bit of a break. And the movie was so good. I laughed so much. I had to try to contain myself <laughs> because I was laughing so much. There's some really funny scenes throughout the movie, but it's so heartwarming. I cried. Both me and my sister cried so highly recommend going to watch that movie if you're looking for something sweet heartwarming and cozy to watch Maybe you can feel the pressure that I've been living on I can say that it's been on my mind But I'm moving along So charging I got this whole week's gonna be a rainy kind of week there's thunderstorms so if you end up hearing some of that noise while we're talking that's what's going on right now but i love rainy days I actually ended up having a really nice day this morning where i went outside had like a little mini picnic moment with my book and so as you all saw i am currently reading a proposal they can't refuse by natalie caña and you guys this book is giving me life right now it is so good it is such a fun time by the time you watch this i would have read this so i'll give you a look at the book aesthetic just to give you an idea because i'm a visual person too so i completely get it so when you think of this book think of childhood friends to lovers second chance romance basically the two main characters grew up together because their grandparents are in business together in a way and so their grandparents are pretty much like business besties the main character Camila la vega is puerto rican she's puerto rican and then liam kane is the love interest and he is irish and the book takes place in chicago which to this day one of my favorite trips that i ever took with my husband back when we were dating was when we went to chicago together it was so fun so getting to read about that just brings all of those good feelings back to me and so sadly liam's grandfather ended up getting cancer and so basically his grandfather and camila's grandfather orchestrate this whole blackmailing scheme against their grandchildren and they tell them hey if you two don't get married we're gonna go ahead and sell off the businesses and you get nothing they know how much the distillery means to liam and how much the family restaurant means to camila and they're like nope we're not having it unless you two promise that you're going to get married and of course liam and camila are like y'all are crazy what are you talking about right now <laughs> they truly thought that their grandparents were joking but no they were being so serious and so camila was like hey like i know we don't get along i know we're not really friends anymore because of what happened but what if we beat them at their own game and we just fake date we just pretend to be engaged and to get married and, and so they both are like f it let's do it let's go ahead and just <laughs> trick our grandparents and so what i've been loving about this book is also the latina family dynamic so you get to see how camila's family just really is not supportive and doesn't believe in her and they just see her as this dreamer that's very like wishy-washy and camila has a dream of entering their parents restaurant into a fall foodie tour so there's also like fall elements going on and their family's like no we don't want to have anything to do with this the neighborhood is getting gentrified so we're just deciding to bow out we are tired we don't want to deal with this and she's like no i know this is going on but i want us to evolve and deepen our roots instead of leaving and so she wants to be a part of making changes that still feel true to her culture but you're getting to see all of the drama of course that's going on 
with that and then her and Liam just teaming up and the romance is romancing oh my goodness there's some spicy scenes so if you don't enjoy that you probably won't enjoy that in this book but if you don't mind it or if you really enjoy that in books highly recommend I'm having such a good time with it right now I am almost done i'm probably going to finish this today and i was actually thinking of going to my local thrift store to the goodwill here by where i live because i'm thinking of maybe getting a new vase for well not new but new to me but reused recycled you know vase for the flowers that i ended up getting at the grocery store You guys, this book was stinking adorable. It was so good. I laughed. I cried. This book touches on so many important topics like Latina family dynamics and this character goes through it. You all know that I really enjoy reading books like that. It is so, so needed. That representation is so important. I wish I had had it growing up. You know, reading books like this or like the other books that I've shared on here would have truly changed my life you know being able to see myself or my family dynamics represented and there's a part where camila has a very difficult conversation with her family in this and i was so afraid that the author was just going to leave it as like her accepting all full responsibility for some of the things that went wrong in the book and i love that the author did not leave it there where it was very difficult for her to speak up as it is you know when you are setting healthy boundaries with your family it felt very real definitely a very real representation of how hard it can be and her family had to accept responsibility in the part that they played you know in her life and why it was difficult for her to share things with them and I loved it it was done so beautifully this book was a five out of five star read for me if i could rate it higher i would it also took place during the fall time so when they were going on dates you know they went to a pumpkin festival it was giving all of the things that it needed to be giving for me personally i loved this romance so much and as always it was more than just a romance there were so many other important mental health topics being covered within this book i love that representation and it just again shares how healing can be done together within partners within community and it was such a beautiful book if this sounds like your thing i highly recommend reading and picking it up but that is basically it for this video everyone i really hope you enjoyed it if you are having a rough week i hope you take some time to just rest you know recover 
whatever if you need to plug into an activity that can bring you some type of peace and joy and can be therapeutic for you stay cozy everyone and i will go ahead and catch you in my next video bye